well ladies and gentlemen today we'll be talking about transgenders into the indian armed forces india being the world's largest democracy and even at times called as the mother of democracy article 15 of the indian constitution highlights that there should be no discrimination on the basis of caste creed gender and place of birth it becomes evident that the transgenders has been always in the marginalized society of india and this way it is the estates rule that estates should open up more opportunity for the transgenders and one of them is induction of transgenders into indian armed forces it will not only provide them the opportunity that they can build their career in different fields but they can also come along with the men and women in the indian armed forces but there are other aspects of it too at a time it will ensure the opportunity and equality on the other hand it will also come up with the various challenges first of all transgenders physical capability is not going to be decided so much easily as they have been many a times debarred from the international sports because of this issue because many a time a man considers himself as a woman and hence he has to go through hormonal therapies and these hormonal therapies are not easily available at everywhere even we can see the washroom for the men and women are well built in every city at every public place but for transgenders hardly there are particular washrooms so they either have to adjust with the men or women and many time they have to be discriminated on this basis only but a time when they will be inducted into armed forces the harsh posting of the armed forces is not going to be suitable for them because they need constant therapies for the hormones to maintain their balance and that is not going to be possible because armed forces always seeks merit and this is the reason even reservation has not been introduced there we need pure talent pure merit so the security of the nation should not be compromised at any point ultimately we can go for induction but first we should go for giving the transgenders more role in the civil society more professions into the civilians and giving them a respectful position in the society we can as well go with the pilot project through which we can see and see their capabilities that how they are performing when they are taken into the armed forces if it succeeds then we can as well go for their induction into the indian armed forces but one thing must be always taken care that combat readiness of the armed forces should be kept intact at every situation chahiye